Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Today I want to talk to you about charging the Volvo C40 and especially since a software update the C40 that I the press card that I had had software 2.00 and a year ago I drove an uh, XC40 and it had a different software version on there and they updated the charging and wanna compare those two charging curves curves <laughs> so you can see that the update did something so I charged at Ionity from 10 to uh, 90 percent and uh, and the XC40 a year ago it was was March of 21. You could see that the charging curve was was doing a lot of jumps, and uh, it's good to say that the C40 doesn't do that anymore. And you can compare those two cars very well because it's the exact same battery. The, it's the exact same car, just a different chassis on top. Same with Polestar 2, but just different software. And they had a new BMS on there. The temperature was a bit different, but the battery outside temperature when I did those tests, but uh, the battery temperature was warm in both cases, so this did not impact the charging. Now let's look at the comparison of the charging curve. In here we have the graph. Blue one is the XC40, uh, so the old software, and the red one is the C40 now with the new software. And this is power in kilowatts, so the charging power at the charger that was shown, not what goes into the battery and the state of charge in percent so you can see for example that here at the c40 at 15% is 147 kilowatt then it goes up and stays up so till down here where where are we where do we have a point do we have a point yeah here at 66% uh, um, no at 70% until 70% the charging curve is more power into the battery than it was before. So that is awesome. Volvo did a great job with this charging curve. It's, it's not just on the bottom or something or a little part. It's the whole charging curve just here at the end. The old software charged a bit better uh, it especially then uh, after here the the 77 percent then it should uh, it was better before but that's okay if you if you charge to 80 percent that's enough anyways you shouldn't charge more and then i, I stopped the charging at 90 percent so you can see that and this results of course also in range added over time so I charge from 10 to 90 percent and if you look here I have here the time in minutes and the range added and for the range calculation I took the kilowatt hours charged it's not accurate because there's charging loss it's not the real range that's being added but you can calculate a comparison of those two cars very well and this is the range calculated at the 130 kilometers an hour range test so and it was it's extremely similar consumption 271 watt hours i took from both cars and you can see that from 10 minutes on do you add more range with the c40 than you add with the xc40 under that charging curve is fluctuating but it's still good enough to to uh, put the same kilowatt hours into the battery so volvo did a great job with that important is also the time that it takes to charge from 10 to 80 percent the difference here uh, is that i started both cars at 10 percent and i maybe i was with one at almost at 11 and one almost at nine you know the 10 percent is not very accurate but in those two charges that i did with the xc40 it took me 39 minutes from 10 to 80 percent and with the c40 with the new software it took me 36 minutes so that three minutes faster it's not amazing but it's still something but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye